in this we are going to discuss the voltage regulators so what is voltage regulation first we will discuss what is voltage regulation then we will move on to the different types of voltage regulators series shunt and switching voltage regulators so what is voltage regulation so it is nothing but it gives a constant output voltage irrespective of the input voltage so the block diagram shows uh, transformer rectifier filter and the ic voltage regulator so in this what is a trans uh, what is the first one transformer so it gives a uh, that is a transformer is having step up or step down the value that is ac voltage provided by the uh, wall outlet to the desired amplitude through the action of a magnetic field so next uh, the output of the transformer is fed into the rectifier so here the rectifier uh, changes ac value to the corresponding dc value and it gives a uh, filter so what is the uh, use of this uh, filter means uh, it uh, reduce the reduce the fluctuation in the rectified output voltage or ripples this provides a constant dc voltage so this value is given to the ic voltage regulator so this ic voltage regulator gives a constant value uh, to the load so irrespective of the changes in the input voltage so this is a general information of the voltage regulators next one uh next here there are two words that is two important terms called the line regulation or load regulation that is the two basic categories of the voltage regulation are line regulation and the load regulation so what is a line regulation the diagram shows uh, that is uh, uh, the first one it's having a line regulation the input value changes that is uh, the purpose of the line regulation is to maintain a constant output voltage when the input value changes so you just shows uh, you just refer here there is a changes in the input voltage when compared with the previous one but there is no changes in the output voltage so what is the formula to find the line, line regulation means uh, change in output voltage divided by uh, output voltage uh, in terms of percentage divided by uh, input voltage so next to one load regulation what is a load load regulation uh, here the change in load current due to the variation in rl due to the variation in rl has practically no effect on the output voltage so this is a load regulation so just to refer so this is a uh, actual diagram so there is a changes in the uh, load value uh, changes in the uh, load current but there is no effect in the output value so this is a load regulation so there is a changes in the uh, load resistance there is no effect in the output value so this is a load regulation whatever the value changes there is no uh, changes in the output you can call it as a regulators so load regulation is equal to uh, v no load minus v full load divided by v full load into the 100 percentage so this is a uh, idea of load regulation so with this introduction we will move on to the voltage regulators so what is a voltage regulators means so the primary function of the voltage regulator is to maintain a constant dc output voltage next however it also rejects the ripple voltage that is not removed by the filter so already we have discussed the filter so next the regulator may also include the protective functions such as, such as uh, short circuit protection current limiting and there are so many uh, advantages in the voltage regulators so next uh, there are three types of voltage regulators series voltage regulator shunt voltage regulator and the switching uh, regulators so let us move on to the first one uh, series voltage regulator so the block diagram shows the series voltage regulator it's having a control element and the comparator circuit with the sampling circuit and the reference voltage so uh, what happened if the value increases let us uh, explain the block diagram if the output voltage increases so the comparator circuit provides a control signal to the uh, uh, control signal to cause a series control element to reduce the magnitude of the output voltage thereby maintaining the output voltage what about in the other hand that is if the uh, output voltage falls reduced the comparator circuit provides a con control signal to cause the series control element to increase the magnitude of the 
uh, output voltage so thus the output voltage maintains constant thereby we will keep the output voltage a uh, constant so with the help of control element and comparator we will go with the constant output voltage next one let us move on to the uh, series voltage regulator with one transistor so this uh, a simple series voltage regulator using a npn transistor and a zener diode uh, is shown in this figure so the why it is called a series regulator means because the collector and the emitter terminals of the transistor are in series with the load here the uh, what happen if the uh, output voltage changes let us move on to the working principle now before that we will have a uh, zener diode for the reference voltage and the transistor is act as a variable resistor so there are two cases one is a input voltage changes another one is if the uh, load on the output voltage changes so let us go to the first one let the input voltage increases which will cause the output voltage is v out is increases and there is a increase in output voltage will result decrease in base emitter voltage there is a increase in the base emitter voltage and thereby v is it is uh, v is it is a fixed and there is a decrease in vbe okay so there is a decrease in vbe so this will uh, reduce the level of conduction so this will lead to the increase in collector emitter resistance of the transistor and causing an increase in collector to emitter voltage and as a result output voltage is reduced before there is a increase in output voltage here there is a decrease in the output voltage thereby it compensates so let us move on to the next one next case let us consider the effect of change in the load on output voltage say the current is increased that is the current is increased by decrease in rl so there is a rl resistor so there is a decrease in rl and the current is increased by there is a decrease in rl under such a situation output voltage v out tends to fall therefore vbe tends to increase as a result conduction level of the transistor will increase leading to decrease in the collector emitter resistance so the decrease in collector emitter resistance of the transistor will cause there is a slight increase in the input current to compensate for the decrease in rl so thereby they will, it will compensate for the uh, output voltage so this is a uh, simple idea of series voltage regulator next what about your shunt voltage regulator so the again the block diagram is having control element comparator circuit and sampling circuit is uh, uh, fed back into the comparator circuit that is a reference voltage if the output voltage tends to change due to change in load and the sampling circuit provides a feedback signal to the comparator circuit and uh, which then provides a control signal to vary the magnitude of the current shunted away from the load for example when the output voltage tends to fall so the sampling circuit provides a feedback signal to the comparator circuit which then provides a control signal to draw a lesser shunted current providing a more load current thereby keeping the regulated output voltage so this will plays a important uh, role in this shunt voltage regulator that is uh, the rse value so let us move on to the uh, uh, transistor shunt voltage regulator this is one example of the transistor shunt voltage regulator so this is uh, this will having a uh, rsc that is a series resistance is connected zener diode gives a constant output voltage so v out is equal to v z minus v b e which is equal to v in minus i into rsc so, so that uh, let us explain the working principle of the uh, uh, the transistor shunt voltage regulator the first one again it's having a two cases what happen if the input voltage increases so it causes increase in v out and vbe resulting in increase in base current and therefore increase in the collector current because ib is ib and ic are interrelated if ib value changes thereby if a vbe value changes ib changes and thereby ic is also changes but what happen does with the increase in supply voltage the, the supply current i increases causing the more voltage drop in the uh, series resistance rsc that is very important thereby reducing the output voltage so initially the input voltage changes your v out changes but there is a more voltage drop in this rsc thereby reduces the uh, 
uh, V out value. So it compensates. So this is one idea. What about the another one? If the load resistance RL decreases, so the output uh, current IL increases and this increase in output current is supplied by a decrease in base and the collector current IB and IC. Thus the input current I remains constant, almost constant and causing no changes in the voltage drop across the RSC. So thus the output voltage V out being a difference of supply voltage and a series resistor drop uh, that is uh, being the difference of supply voltage fixed and a series resistor drop VR remains constant. So this is an idea of voltage regulator that is whatever the happens in the input value and there is no changes in the uh, v out there is whatever that happens in the output value there is no changes in the v out value so this is a transistor shunt to voltage regulator next let us move on to the switching regulators and uh, why we can go for the switching regulator means there are limitations in the linear output voltage uh, regulators linear output voltage regulators and the that is the series regulator exhibit 50 percent efficiency and hence the input voltage should be more than the output voltage that is if the efficiency is less then the part of a voltage will be dissipated in the form of power in series pass transistor which is always in the active region another limitation is uh, is that the system with one dc supply voltage such as plus or plus 5 volt for ttl uh, circuit if there is a need of plus or minus 15 volt uh, operational ampli uh, operation so it is may not be economical and practically feasible to achieve this that's why we can go for this uh, series volt switching regulators so in this they are having a uh, three uh, classifications step down version step up version and a polarity inverting regulator so step down version so the uh, diagram shows the step down version of the uh, switching regulator so uh, what happened Th that is the regulator pulses on the base saturator and uh, cut off the uh, pass transistor transistor during the each cycle so there is a uh, input value a pulse signal is uh, given to the base of the transistor this generates a voltage rectangular voltage at the input to the lc filter okay rectangular uh, pulses to the input to the lc filter this filter blocks the ac component and allows the dc component to pass to the output because of the on off switching uh, the average value is always less than the input voltage so that's why it is called the step down version what about if a step up version so again uh, it is having a transistor but the circuit is somewhat different the l field uh, value is uh, introduced in the collector region <coughs> the transistor is alternatively saturated and cut off when the transistor is saturated current flows through the inductor that is when the transistor is first one uh, what happened when the transistor is cut off the magnetic field around the coil collapses and induces a large voltage across the coil of opposite polarity this keeps the current flowing in the same direction furthermore there is a inductive kickback in the induct, uh, inductive kickback voltage is larger than the input voltage so this is why it's called step up configuration next polarity inverting converter so it is uh, same to the step down version but there is a interchange of diode and the inductor and when the transistor is uh, saturated current flows through the inductor when the what happened when the transistor is cut off the magnetic field collapses and there is a inductive kickback keeps the current flowing in the same direction since the transistor is off only a path is through the capacitor if the direction of charging current through the capacitor is checked the output voltage is found to be negative that's why it is called a polarity inverting regulator so that's all about your voltage regulator